Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on map visualization in Power BI. I am Dr. Gomati and in this video we will be discussing how to use maps effectively in Power BI reports. Let us understand what is map visualization. Maps are powerful way to display geographic data in Power BI. They allow you to visualize data on a regional or global level, making it easier to identify patterns and trend across the different locations. Map visualizations can be used to display a variety of data such as sales by region, customer location or population density. You should also know when you should use a map visualization. Map visualizations are particularly useful when you have data that is tied to a specific geographic location. For example, if you are analyzing a sales data, you can use a map to display the sales figures for each region. Maps can also be used to display demographic data such as population density or income levels. So, what are the visualizations point which you keep it in mind when you use a map? You should Choose an appropriate map type. So what is an appropriate map type? Here you can use, here you can see we have various map type. So here this is the map one. Okay, here you can see this is filled map. And this is an arc GIS maps for Power BI. So which one to use? So this you can decide according to your uh, requirement like how it it, uh, it displays it is going to display and everything so we can also import a map from any other website okay like the template if you wanted to change the map visual like all that also we can use it but i'll explain in the next video so here we will discuss about the map which is directly available in power bi in visualization okay so we have to the first one first point which you have to uh, uh, which we have to keep it in mind is what power bi offers different types of maps okay you have to choose the best to suit your data and your analysis the second point is use colors effectively choose colors that make it easy to distinguish between different data points on the map use labels and tooltips and use filters properly so let us see how we are going to use the map so for example here on the right side you can see i have various uh, uh, various attributes here okay so i'm just going to select the country okay once you select the country you can see that something is generating okay and you can see here that the map is highlighted by default automatically it is created like your uh, power bi automatically created that like it chooses the map visuals okay so here it is showing few settings you have to change uh, here it is showing that map and filled up map visuals are disabled if you want to enable it you have to go to the files options and settings options global security so go to the file options and setting options and then in that you have an option called global okay you have to select the global a pop-up window will be displayed okay you have to select and then you can also you have to enable the use map and fill the map visuals you have to enable it use arc gis for power bi okay and click you have to click ok so even if you click ok it will ask you to um, again reopen that is you have to refresh this particular power bi now we have enabled the maps and the options okay so now let us go let us again try to create it if you click on the country okay if you click here so you can see once i clicked a uh, country okay it automatically generates the map and you can see that this map is by default selected okay map fine so if you wanted to find the sales by country so you can click the sales attribute as well so once if you click the sales okay you can see that these dots that is this area has been enlarged that is it shows that the sales is higher in these places okay based on the circle size you can understand that the size the sales in this country is higher than the sales in the other countries okay so if you want to find the say uh, a profit by country sales by country uh, units sold sales price or whatever if you wanted to use the locations 
okay so if you wanted to showcase the uh, geographic location so you can use these maps in your power bi report so once if you see here uh, you can change these attributes like if you can change the visuals of this particular uh, map using <coughs> this pane visualization pane so let us see that this is a build visual if you just scroll down you can see legend latitude longitude bubble size okay by default the bubble size is based on sum of sales okay so if you wanted to add the legend you can add the legend here okay so you can just drag and drop it here so you can see that the legends will be coming up here sorry i have, we have to use the legend as country so we can drag and drop the country here so this is united states uh, canada uh, france germany and mexico and you can see the circles that is the uh, sales of the circle uh, is changed accordingly okay now let us just go and click here format your visual so in format your usual you can see the format setting okay how you wanted to see visualize your map whether you it should be like aerial okay so once you change the aerial you can see your map visuals is changing okay this is the aerial look of the map and if you click here dark you can see the dark look of the map if you click here light okay you can see the light look gray scale okay and road is the default by default whenever you just drag and drop the visual or else if you have selected this def uh, visual by default it will be road so you can change the look here okay so if you want to show the labels so here it is showing the label if you want to disable the labels you can just disable it you cannot see any name of any country if you enable it you can see the name of the country now let us go to the controls okay so if you want to visualize the zoom button just look into this particular uh, uh, visualization you don't have any buttons other than this filter this uh, focus mode and this more options if you enable the zoom button you can see that the zoom option is available on the top that is plus and minus so if you just click on the plus you can just zoom it okay you can zoom and see okay if you just press the zoom button so this is what the zoom okay and lasso button so you can see one more button which is a lasso button rectangle so here if you wanted to see only this particular part okay you can enable and see the this using the lasso button okay so this is the lasso so if you don't want this you can just disable all these things and geocoding culture you have um, two geocoding culture here one is auto and second one is ga so by default it will be auto okay we have done with the uh, controls and next is legend is by default on you want to put the bubbles what bubble size you want okay so you can just increase the bubble size okay or else you can decrease it however you want okay and if you want to change the color of any uh, any country okay you can change it so if you want to change the color for example i cannot see the mexico color because since it's not um, that much bright okay so here you can see so if you just go and click on this category labels so you can see if you just enable it it will show you the category label as well okay it is showing united states you can see that this is the category label okay that is canada is again highlighted so if you just disable it off you cannot see that okay if you wanted to show that in a high bigger font you can show it okay other than that all these uh, formatting option and the background option okay this is the background for the uh, category labels if you wanted to change it you can do that got it so this is visuals and if you go to the general visual you have other properties and this is what your homework assignment or whatever you want you can do this so you have to try and apply all the general options which is available under the format your visuals icon and see how it is replicating into your map visual okay this is very very important and this map visual you can also try the next one okay since we have uh, used so this is an another map you can just use the filled map and you can go ahead with um profit by country
okay so you can see how the filled map is working so you can find the difference between these two maps okay so if you just drag and drop it here you can see how these two maps are looking different okay so here you can see the filled map here so you can simply zoom it out okay uh, so here you can see uh, if you just add the profit the sum of profit profit is here okay and uh, here you cannot see any the, the, it shows the tooltip okay not showing anything like a bubble so it shows like a tooltip and if you go and uh, keep your mouse anywhere so it will show up uh, what is the total say profit of that particular country okay so if you wanted to add something over here like a legend or something you can add it on also explore the formatting options here for almost all the map we have the map settings okay you can see that the map settings are available here you can try it out and the next map which we have is what the arc gis map okay ensure that you have enabled these map options in the file options and settings uh, in your power bi okay so this is an another type of map which is arc gis map okay so you're going to try arcgis map completely by yourself you can generate you can create a um, report uh, mentioning like sales by country okay or how many products you have by country so all these things so you can think about on also you can share what are all the other possible uh, things which can be used which can be displayed with the help of uh, the uh, map okay Yes, that's all for this tutorial on map visualization Power BI. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.